scientists, I'm Dr. Liz from the California Science Center here to help you feel a little less stuck at home. So today's activity is all about exploring fingerprints, something that makes every single one of us a little bit unique. So check this out. My fingerprint here looks a little bit different than my friend Evelyn's fingerprint. And if you can explore at home with some friends and family you might be stuck at home with, you'll see that everybody's fingerprints look a little bit different. Even identical twins have unique fingerprints. But when it comes to biology, not everything is about differences. Biologists really like to study all of the ways that humans and other living things do things in the same kind of way. So, for example, you might be surprised that me and this plant have a lot of things in common. I also happen to have a lot in common with this little paramecium here. So let's go explore some of the ways that living things do things similarly. Let's go! Here in the control center, we like to think about all the ways that living things sense and react to their environments. Even this paramecium can sense its surroundings and react. Fence line is all about how living things defend themselves against the outside world. Here in Supply Network, you can learn all about how all living things take in supplies from the outside world and get rid of waste. I have lungs so I can breathe in oxygen from the air. My buddy here, the axolotl, has some crazy gills to bring in oxygen from its water. You'll learn more about him later this week. Life Source is all about how all living things reproduce to make more living. Energy Factory is all about how all living things need energy to stay alive. I ate a big breakfast this morning so I would have the energy I needed to make this video. My plant friend here can actually make its own food to get energy from the air around it. So that's it for our tour of the world of life. I cannot wait for all of you scientists at home to come visit yourselves when we're open again. But in the meantime, I hope you're all feeling a little less stuck at home. Bye everybody! Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.